Hello again, I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician, and welcome to another one of my video shorts on current topics here at electrical-online.com and right here on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire a single pole switch to control a light, and we're going to use the most basic and easy to understand method. And that's where the power feed comes into the switch outlet box first, and then it goes from there to the light fixture using two wire cable, of course, two wire with the ground. Now I'm going to use my demonstration wall behind me here so that we can get the most close up and tight in high definition shots so that I can show you exactly how the cables run from the panel into the circuit, then to the switch and up to the light, plus the connections inside the box and how to make those properly. So let's get started. So as I mentioned, I'm going to use my demonstration wall for this. Here's the main panel. This is the cables running through the walls. Imagine that there'd be wallboard on here in a finished installation. So the two wire cable starts at the panel. The breaker here is marked living room. So we're going to shut that off. And the two wire cable runs out of the panel, through the walls, back up into this switch outlet box here, and then out of this outlet box to the light fixture outlet box and into the light. So We'll open up the panel, show you exactly how that two wire cable is connected to the breaker and to the panel itself. And then we'll open up the switch box after that. So you saw me shut off the breaker for the living room, the circuit we're going to be working on. But because I'm going to remove this entire panel cover, we're going to shut off the main breaker as well. And I'm going to get myself some alternate source of light here so that we can open up this panel and have a good look inside as to how that cable to this circuit is connected to that breaker. So this is that breaker marked living room. You can see the black wire from the cable is connected to here and it runs down into the bottom of the panel and it's actually this cable, this two wire cable coming in right here. Just got to make sure you wiggle that and it is the right breaker connected to that 15 amp that was marked living room. And here's the white neutral conductor comes in here and it's tied onto the neutral bus right here. So there's your neutral, your hot connected to the breaker and you can see the bare copper wires in the back of the panel here connected to the panel tub and they are green terminals as well. So we got the ground connected to the tub, we got the neutral connected to the neutral bus bar and we have the hot wire connected to that 15 amp breaker. Now we'll go open up that switch box. So just for an overview of this outlet box now that's opened up and the switch is pulled out. This cable at the bottom is the power coming in on the left side. This cable is going out to the light. Now I'm going to give you even a tighter zoom in of the particular connections starting with the ground wire. So we're zoomed right in on the grounding connections. So let's just go through what's going on here. We've got four wires under this wire nut. The incoming bare ground wire from the power cable, the outgoing bare ground wire going to the light fixture outlet box, and then we have two pigtails. One of them has a loop bent on it and it's underneath this grounding terminal inside the device box. And the other one is not attached to anything, but if the switch device, any kind of control for that light required a ground wire, then that would be what you connect that wire to. But this switch does not have a grounding terminal on it, so it doesn't need it. And that wire just gets tucked safely back into the box because somebody may change the switch to a different device that does have a ground terminal and then you would need it. So let's move on to the neutral splice. So quite simply, the neutral conductors get spliced together. So these are the grounded conductors, the neutrals, incoming neutral from the panel and the outgoing neutral to the light fixture outlet box. Splice together and then they too are tucked back into the box. So focusing in now on the connections to the switch terminals, this is the incoming hot wire on this black wire here to terminal one of the terminals on the single pole switch and this one is connected to the other side of that single pole switch that's going out to the light fixture. All a switch does is close a circuit. So when you close that circuit, it basically just joins these two terminals together inside that switch. So a simple switch, on off, closed means on, open means off. 
So here at this light outlet box, we have the most basic of light fixtures attached to this circuit. This is a simple keyless lamp holder or plastic chandelier we sometimes refer to them as. Let's start again at the ground wire. You can see the ground wire now, system ground coming in on that cable. It is wrapped around that ground terminal, firmly tightened, and they've left a little pigtail here. And that would be again, if there was a light fixture that required a ground, that's where you'd connect that ground wire to. This does not have a ground on this type of fixture. It's all plastic, so there's nothing really to ground or earth. So again, that wire just gets tucked back into the back of the box, saved for the future where maybe somebody does put up a light fixture that has a grounding terminal. And you're neutral to the silver terminals on this keyless fixture, and you're black hot to the brass terminals. And there you have it. That's the end of this circuit, starting at the breaker, working through a single pole switch and ending at a light fixture. We'll put it all back together and make sure things still work. So I've got the switch back installed in the box. I've got the breaker turned back on, main breaker, and then of course that one marked living room. Now let's check our lovely living room fixture to see if it still works. And it does. Thanks for tuning in. I hope I taught you something here about a single pole switch. And the most basic of methods, power into the switch and then out to the light fixture. There's more helpful videos and articles available on my website at electrical-online.com. And of course, if you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel here, you'll be informed when there's new videos uploaded so that you can take advantage of that learning as well. But now if you're really interested about learning more about your home's electrical system, there's no better resource available on the internet today than the basics of household wiring. That's available on my website and we're gonna provide a link to our store just below here in the description of the video. You can click on that, you can get access to purchasing that DVD or as an instant download. And we just recently, using this material, we developed a course that we've published now on udemy.com. That's U-D-E-M-Y.com. If you look for learn the basics of household wiring and enroll in that course, you're gonna learn everything it takes to become a weekend wiring warrior. We've dubbed that title for people that are interested to take that course. It just teaches you how to do most home electrical projects and repairs both safely and competently. So I'd like you to take advantage of that, but thanks again for tuning in. I'm Terry Peterman, the internet electrician.